All right, everyone, we are back with episode five of What Sold This Week. Um, if you're new to the channel, I go over what I sold weekly on both eBay and Macari, so let's get right into it. This flask right here, it's a 64-ounce flask. I got this from Ross for $2.50. Um, I think it sat for about a month and a half. I sold it for $6 plus buyer pay shipping. I think after fees, I had about uh, a $3 profit, so very small. These remotes right here, you'll see are Sony remotes. Um... My dad gave these to me to sell. I sold them in a bundle for $10. I have no use for them, and they don't go for a much um, by themselves, so I just bundled it. Went ahead and sold those for $10, uh, plus buyer pay shipping. And again, no cost of goods for me, so we'll be splitting the profit. All right, next, uh, we do have this Adidas long sleeve shirt. I believe it's a golf shirt. Um, I think I picked this up for $10, thought it was going to be a good flip, but it ended up selling for $15 plus buyer pay shipping. So I think I made like 3 bucks on it, so not too much. This right here, this um, Lumex, this Panasonic Lumex was an amazing deal. I got this at Goodwill. Um, everything included, two batteries, the charging port, everything for $25. Um, as you can see right here, I'm just trying to get it out of here while I film. Um, very nice camera, in great condition, and works. I actually sold this for $104.99 plus buyer pays shipping. I think after all fees were said and done, they paid somewhere around $160 for this, and I got it for $25. Um, so after all fees and everything, um, I ended up with, I believe, like a 60 something dollar profit. So that was a great flip. All right, next up is this, um, I think it's a Cobra CB radio. This little thing I'm showing you right here is I threw that in with the deal when the guy bought it. Um, got this at my bin store. They go by weight. I think it was like a dollar or so. Sold it for five dollars. Um, untested. Buyer paid shipping. They ended up paying 20. So I ended up making more money. I think I ended up making ten dollars since they paid so much for shipping. So I think that was a dollar or two into ten dollars. So not a bad deal. I'll probably stay away from those in the future at the bin stores. All right. Next up, I do have a lot on the table here. Um, a lot of these are my dad's, um, clothing haul he wanted me to get rid of so i have these philly shorts um again zero cost of goods just go ahead and get rid of these i did receive an offer for i believe uh four dollars on them plus buyer paid shipping and they ended up paying like 13 dollars. so i thought that was fair for a pair of majestic cotton um philly shorts and again just trying to get rid of this stuff so i was happy to see that go Next up after that, um, we do have a bundle of four Nike pant Nike shorts. Um, two of them, three of them are cotton shorts, and then one was like a basketball pair of shorts. Sold this bundle for thirty plus buyer pay shipping. I think after all fees and everything was done, um, I made around twenty five dollars on those. Uh, again, zero cost of goods, so not bad at all, freeing up some room. Um, and as you can see, I got a bunch of other stuff on the table, and majority of it is also part of that clothing haul from my dad. So these right here I'm picking up. Someone actually bought eight um, different polos. Um, so I sold them for $50 plus buyer pay shipping. I think I made about $42 um, when all said and done. So not too bad. Um, you know, they're not very popular sizes. And I did have these up in separate bundles, but one guy messaged me on Macari and said, uh, you know what, I want more than one. So I ran the numbers and I gave him a deal on that. Um, so I was happy to get that out of there. Next up, we do have a, another bundle. Um, I think this is the bundle I actually ended up selling on eBay. Um, if I'm correct, I think it was a nine-pack of polos. And um, ended up making a deal with this guy. I think I sold these for $100 um, with free shipping because he didn't want to pay all that extra money for shipping. So I worked deal out with him. I think I ended up making around... 65 to 70 after fees. I mean, shipping was pretty expensive. I think these ones were going to California. Maybe that's why he didn't want to pay. But again, another thing I was happy about getting rid of, 60 something dollars. So go ahead and split that with my dad. Next up is this polo, uh, long sleeve polo. I think I sold this for $15. I had it up for 20, but I accepted an offer for 15 plus shipping. Uh, was happy to get rid of this. This one actually already got delivered. Um, so yeah, not too bad. This right here, this is an ugly color in my opinion, but this is a Robert Graham, if you're not familiar. It's a very good um, company, clothing company. So sold this for $25 plus buyer pay shipping. Next up are these green vapor cleats. Um, I'm actually coming up on like my final pairs of these. I believe this was a size 11 and a half. 
these actually got sent back to me um, by a buyer one time. So I went ahead and put these up again. Someone bought them for $37.99 plus shipping. These were in my early days, so I didn't do too well on these. Um, this is before I knew about sell-through rates, the profit margins, and what was worth it or not. So I only made about 6 or $7 on those. This right here, I actually didn't sell this on eBay. This was a Facebook Marketplace pickup um, that someone picked up from me. I got this from Goodwill for $12.99, and two days later, a guy bought it on Marketplace for $25. So I was able to avoid fees and move this pretty quick. So uh, just about doubled my money on it, a little under, but you know I'll take it if they're going local. And this package right here, I actually packed this up. These are these Vaughn hockey pants. Um, ended up selling these for $20. I think I got them for $2. Um, the guy in California wanted to pay for shipping, but it was costing him $40 to ship. So I said, you go ahead and buy them for $20, um, and then I'll refund you whatever is on top of the cost of the label. So the label was like $20. So he paid $20 plus $20 for the shipping, and I went ahead and reimbursed him that extra 20 because at that point it didn't make sense for him to pay $40 just to have a $20 item shipped. But yeah, so I went ahead and got those done. He was very happy about that and I was able to get rid of them. And again, those were a Goodwill bins deal. Only cost me about $2. So to turn them into 20, obviously minus fees and everything, about 15, um, not really a bad deal at all. So next up, we do have this Xbox console and these Vapors, but I'll go ahead with these Nike Vapors first. Another pair of gray cleats. I think I have one more left of these. Again, got these on in my early days. Sold them for $37.99 plus buyer pay shipping. I got them for about $25.99, so after all shipping and fees, I think I only make about $6 or $7. So again, these cost me $25-ish to buy, $7 profit, so we definitely want to stay away from that in the future. Now for the good stuff, um, I got this Xbox 360 bundle as part of a Guitar Hero and Rock Band bundle. So I went ahead and I sold the Rock Band bundle and Guitar Hero for 200 And then I sold this for 120 plus buyer pays shipping. This guy ended up paying 170 He bought it five minutes after I posted it. Came with all these games. I sold the games as is because I wasn't sure if all of them worked or not. But yeah, so I picked up this bundle for $200 total, and I was able to sell just the guitars for Guitar Hero for $200, and Rock Band, along with the games, um, on a Facebook Marketplace local pickup. So right there, I had broken even, so then I went ahead and put up the rest of the bundle on eBay, which I actually had the entire bundle up in the beginning, but it didn't sell well. So I was able to make about, I think, 80 or 90 bucks after shipping on this. Or I'm sorry, no, I made about 120 I just threw two things on here that I sold that I didn't take videos of. One was a hockey helmet, and the other was another pack of clothing. So, got rid of those. But as I was saying about this bundle, um, it was 122 and I think I made 100 something So, overall, I turned 100 $200 into like 300 ish so a little bit over $100 profit. Next up, we have these Zero Water Filters. This was actually a horrible pickup. I got these from Goodwill for $7 a pop. Ended up selling them for $34 plus buyer pay shipping. When it was all said and done, I think I made $0.85 cents on these. Um, I just wanted to get rid of them. Um, and if you're factoring and packing, then I just about broke even, if not lost money. I just threw these in a, uh old box that I had picked up. So I will definitely stay away from those. Next is the San Francisco 49ers hoodie. I sold this on Macari for $11.25. It had a stain on it. That is why. This is part of my dad's bundle. So buyer paid shipping on that. And I believe it was seven something dollars after shipping and fees or nine. So yeah, was glad to get rid of that. I probably about have about half the stuff left from my dad's bundle. All right, so next up, just a couple items right here. We have three different items. The first one is a Nike golf polo. This is actually the last one of this kind. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. I think I paid $9 for it at that Dick's Warehouse deal. After all shipping and fees, I think I made around 6 7 bucks. So a little bit under doubling my money on this one. Not too bad, but again, got a ton of polos, so I'm getting rid of them here and there. Next up, I got these driver and hybrid covers. Um, I think I got these for $3.75 total together, and I ended up selling them for $10 plus shipping. After all fees and everything, because um, the buyer paid a lot for shipping, and it cost me way less than that. I think I made about 6 or 7 bucks. so 
200% return. Again, small return, but over 100% will take it. Next, I didn't fold this properly for you to see the outside, but this is a polo t-shirt. Um, new with tags, $11.99, but it did have a stain on it, and I put that in the description. So I sold that on eBay. I think I had it posted for about three days before it sold. So that one sold pretty quick, and I do think... I was going to say I took an offer on that, but I didn't take an offer on that. That was actually my listing price of $11.99. Again, part of my dad's bundle. You know, if you have clothes hanging around the house that you're not wearing anymore, throw them up on eBay. Um, you know, they may sell. It all depends on the style and make. So next up, uh, two of them are from my dad's bundle, and then one of them is a self-pickup. So this first one right here is actually a Bauer helmet. Sold this for $27.99. I actually bought this for $15 from Goodwill. Um, on the back here, I think I show it, you will see that the sticker is expired, and I did put this in the description, I actually expired in July of 2022, the buyer still bought it, and they paid a good amount for shipping, um, so that covered some of my fees that I had to pay, I think when all set was done, I made about, uh, I want to say about $10 on this, so bought it for $15, sold it for $10, again, I'm trying to dip into new markets, um, haven't really touched hockey gear before, except for real recently in this past couple of weeks. So just trying to get a feel for what sells and what doesn't. Again, I'm always looking online to make sure the sell-through rate is good. So this next one we have up is just a Claiborne bomber jacket, leather jacket, Fox leather. Sold it for $33.49. Buyer paid shipping. Go ahead and split that with my dad. Next up is another leather jacket. This is from a company called Excelled. I think I sold this one for a bit more. Um, it's a bit heavier duty. This one went for 46 plus buyer pay shipping. I think I had it up for 60 um, because I was just trying to look at what was on the market, but this is not really a popular brand. Uh, so I didn't really know what to put it at. So I kind of put it at 60. And then I think it was three days later, some buy, someone came by with a $46 offer. So I went ahead and took it because I had no other watchers on it at all. All right, and then the next one up right here is an Adidas um, glove. I actually sold this on Facebook Marketplace. I had it for local pickup, but the guy um, wanted me to ship it. So I think I bought this so for twelve ninety nine. dollars He paid $25 ship plus shipping, so I will take that. And then next up, we have a bundle of a couple different things. So I have a three-pack of Polo quarter zips I sold for my dad. $30 plus buyer paid shipping. And after all fees, it was $25, so... Again, zero cost of goods, $25. We'll take it all day. Not a bad deal. Next up, we have a Under Armour golf polo. Again, another one from the Dick's Warehouse sale. This one I sold for $20 plus buyer pay shipping. This one cost me about $10. Uh, so after all shipping and fees, I think I made about $7 on it. Um, again, not over $100, not over 100% profit margin, but we will go ahead and take that, especially since we got a great bulk deal. Next up, um, I actually got this from a Goodwill, not near me, but just a random one. I got this for $4. Ended up selling it for $20 plus shipping. I had a watcher on it, and I um, sent him an offer for $20, and he accepted it. So I make about $15 bucks on that. Next up, another pair of Gray Vapors. I believe these are my last size 11 and a half that I had. These ones, again, um, sold for around $36 bucks, plus buyer pays shipping. Had these up for, I think, $37.99, but since, again, I want to get rid of these, I went ahead and accepted that offer for $36. Next up is another baseball glove. Like I said, people, baseball gloves are in season. It is coming up. It is March right now. I went ahead and sold this for $17.99, plus buyer pays shipping. I actually got this from Goodwill for $7.99, I believe, so really keep an eye on, on what's at Goodwill and always pay attention to the market for seasonal items this is a mr coffee three-in-one frappy cup for i'm saying that wrong frappy i don't i don't drink coffee but i got this for 5.99 and i sold it for 18.99 and this one sold in like two days um this is an older model and i think someone just needed to buy it because maybe theirs broke and they saw it online so they bought it for my asking and i'll take that and then the last sale of the week is this Silver Tab Levi's Oversized Denim Jacket. Got this for $13, sold it for $21. Um, yeah, so I packed this up late, and that was all. 
All right, and for a quick recap of week five, we sold 23 items. We had a gross profit of $880.43, cost of goods $452.25, shipping and fees $81.65, for a total net profit of $345.98. We're going to keep going week by week, see what we could do, see if we can grow, show you where we hit slumps and slowdowns, and then work from there. If you enjoy watching this or have any recommendations for any other videos, please reach out in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.